guys in the last session we started our discussion related to what is spring web mvc what are the advantages of going for web mvc and how to develop our what is web mvc architecture we understood and how to develop our first web application by using spring boot that part also we discussed in the last session okay fine now so today we are going to develop few more web applications by using web mvc module can you tell me what is web mvc guys web mvc is one module in the spring framework which is used to develop web applications this web mvc module simplifying our application development process what are the advantages with the web mvc what is the advantages with the web mvc in the web mvc we are having form binding what is the meaning of form binding form data will be binded to java object and we are having flexibility in the form binding and web mvc will support for multiple presentation technology we can use jsp and time leap as a presentation and form tag library is also available what is the meaning of form tag library what is the meaning of form tag library ready made tag support is available here to develop web application using spring boot we are going to add below starter what is that starter guys what is the starter spring boot starter web dependency available if you add this dependency it will provide the support for mvc web application development restful services and it is providing the support for it is providing the support for embedded container also <coughs> what is embedded container what is embedded container embedded container is the server that is provided by spring boot to run our web application and we are having mvc architecture in the mvc architecture what are the components available dispatcher servlet available handler mapper controller model and view view resolver and view component available what is the dispatcher servlet here ha huh. when user when user send a request to our application that request will be received by dispatcher servlet dispatcher servlet will act as a front to controller it is a predefined servlet in the spring web mvc module that will act as a front to controller every request will be received by dispatcher servlet it will perform pre processing of the request and post processing of the request pre processing means capturing the form data storing to java object post processing means sending the response to the client that is called post processing pre processing and post processing will be taken care by dispatcher servlet whenever request comes then dispatcher servlet will give that request to handler mapping what is the duty of handler mapping what is the duty of handler mapping handler mapping is used to identify which request should be processed by which controller class multiple controllers can be available in one controller multiple methods can be available so this request should be processed by which controller class and which controller method should handle that request that will be taken care by dispatcher servlet the dispatcher servlet will give to handler mapper handler mapper will identify the controller will give the controller data back to dispatcher servlet then what the dispatcher servlet will do after getting the controller data dispatcher will talk to actual controller controller will handle the request controller is also called as request handler controller also called as request handler and here we are having view resolver controller will execute the logic and will return model and view object what is the meaning of model and view object what is the meaning of model and view object model represents data in the key value format view represents logical file name does my controller know what is the view technology 
Does my controller know what is view technology? No. Controllers are loosely coupled with the view technology. Now, what is the view resolver? What is the view resolver, guys? View resolver is used to identify where is the presentation file and what is the presentation technology. Where is the presentation file available and what is the presentation technology will be identified by view resolver. What is the view? It is responsible to render model data in the view file. Got it? So this is our WebMVC architecture. Client will send a request. That request will be received by dispatcher servlet. Dispatcher servlet will give it to handler mapper. Handler mapper will identify the controller, will give to dispatcher. Dispatcher will call the controller method. Controller will return model and view object. Dispatcher servlet will give the view name to view resolver. View resolver will identify where is the view file, what is the view file. It will give view information to dispatcher servlet. Then dispatcher servlet will talk to view component. It will render modal data on the view component. And dispatcher servlet will send that view as a final response to the client. So like this, HTTP request, HTTP response will be available. Every request will be taken care by dispatcher servlet in the Spring Web MVC. Got it? Now, I want to develop one more web application. I want to develop one more web application. Good. Now let us see here. Let me go with the database as well. Now we can, can I integrate web MVC and data JPA? Can we integrate web MVC and data JPA? Yes. Now use SBMS, show tables. Now there is a book table. Select a star from book table. Select a star from book. Yes, there are some book records are available. Database name is SBM. Is database name is SBMS and show tables. There are tables available. Select a star from book. Book records available. Now, I want to write. I want to develop a web application which should display books data in the web page. I want to display books records in the web page. Okay, fine. Let us develop our web application. File new Spring Starter project. What are the dependencies I am going to use? What dependencies are required? WebMVC book app. WebMVC book application is available. Maven packaging war. Next. Do I need Lombok? Setters getters are required. Do I need data JPA? Yes. MySQL driver? Yes. Web, 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 web dependency? Yes. Dev tools? Yes. Now, dev tools to restart the server. Lombok? Setters getters data JPA to communicate with the database driver? to, to come, connect with the database web to develop a web application. Now, finish. Along with this, I need Tomcat Embed Jasper. Why we need a Tomcat Embed Jasper? Why we need Tomcat Embed Jasper? Huh. I am using JSP as a presentation technology. Okay. From the previous project, let us take Tomcat Embed Jasper, add in the current project. Go to current project pom.xml. Data JPA, Web Starter, Dev Tools, MySQL, Lombok, Tomcat. Along with these things, I'm going to add Tomcat Embed Jasper dependency. I'm adding Tomcat Embed Jasper dependency. Perfect. Now here, let me create a controller class. Let me create a controller class. Or else, first I let me create the entity to map with the table. Do you know how to create entity? New class. I'm creating a class with a name called book. Now, let me go for book entity. Entity class I'm creating. If the table name is book only, private integer book ID, private string book name, private double price. What are the columns available in the table? Book ID, book name, book price. Okay, book price. Now, here it is a primary key. I'm representing that as at the rate ID. At the rate ID. 
and here i want to represent this class as a entity class for this i am using at the rate entity and here i am writing at the rate data what is the purpose of at the rate entity that is a entity class what is at the rate data ha uh -huh. generate the setters and get what is my table name book only so do i need to write at the rate table annotation or not required it is not required okay let us create a repository what is the purpose of repository to perform db operations to perform db operation i'm going for book repository i'm going for book repository extends from jpa repository now entity is a book primary key is a integer that's it with this my persistence layer is ready i want to retrieve the record based on the book id and i want to retrieve the all the book records do i need to write any method or already predefined methods available book find by id method available find all methods also available i no need to write any custom method to retrieve the book data based on the primary key and to retrieve all the books i no need to do anything i no need to write any logic here perfect next here i want to create a controller i want to create a controller class fine now what is the purpose of controller and how to create a controller in the web mvc what is the purpose of controller and how to create a controller controller is used to handle request and response right how to represent java class as a controller by using at the rate controller okay let me create a class with a name called book controller i'm keeping that in a package base package in dot ashok it let me keep that inside the controller package it is a normal java class i want to make it as a controller to make it as a controller we will go for a annotation called at the rate controller annotation at the rate controller annotation perfect now in this controller i want to write two methods one method to get the book record based on the id another method to retrieve the all the books from the table or else we can do it in the single method also i want to retrieve all the records available in the table first let me go for one method which will retrieve one record based on the book id now fine public public what is the return type of the controller model and view get a book by id get book by id now here i am taking this as integer book id integer book id or else i can simply cop give it as a id a parameter now i want to talk to repository can i inject the repository here book repository repo how to inject it by using at the rate auto void now so i have the id how can i get the record based on the id how can i get the record based on the id guys come on repo dot find by id i am passing the id as a parameter now what is the return type of this method what is the return type optional what is the return type optional of book find by id optional of book find by id okay so let me import the package optional book object i got then what i will do if find by id dot is present if find by id dot is present that means with the given id if the record is present with the given id if record is present then i want to get that record how to get that find by id dot get what is the return type the return type is book object the return type is a book object now what is the return type of controller method what is the return type of controller method model and view object okay now let us create model and view object model and view is equal to new model and view what i need to store in the model and view object 
right whatever the data that you want to send to the from the from the controller to view what data you want to send from the controller to view that you can set in the model and view object okay model object is available here i am getting the book object book obj okay if it is not empty then what i will do mav dot add object what is the key key i am giving as a book value is my book object here observe integer id i am taking as my controller method parameter with that id i am retrieving a record from the database by using find by id with that id if the record is available it will get that record in the form of optional object if this is find by id is present if the record is really available in the optional object then we are going to set that record in the model on view object why i am setting the data in the model on view object why i am setting this data in the model on view object come on man ah my controller want to send some data to the view my controller want to send some data to the view how controller will send the data to the view by using model object model dot add object key comma value what is the key key is the book what is the value book object right so based on the given id i am getting the book object that book object i am setting in the model and view object and i am returning that model and view object are you clear now along with this what i need to set mav dot set view name what is the name i will give the name as index i will give the name as index so what is the meaning of this index controller don't know whether it is a jsp or time leap my controller don't know fine here guys if you observe integer id now what i want to do is in my project in my project here i will give one search field called book id i will give one such field called book id now so you enter the book id and you click on the search button you enter the book id and you click on the search button with the given id i need to retrieve the record okay with the given id i need to retrieve the record whatever the record you retrieve i want to display that data book id okay and what is the book name and what is the book price in the same page i want to display that response clear this is my requirement this is my requirement we are trying to develop a application like this so whenever we run the project our project should open one page like this in this page data will not be available you enter the book id and you click on the search button now whenever you click on the search button that request should go to controller with the id that we entered whatever the id you enter that id should go to controller my controller method is expecting book id as a parameter so that book id coming from ui can i say user is sending a request with the book id can i say user is sending a request with the book id yes user is sending a request with the book id to take that book id from the request i am going to use one annotation called request param i am using one annotation called request param what is this request param it is used to read the data which is coming in the request it is used to read the data which is coming in the request let us map this method to a request i am going for get mapping slash book slash book i am giving here perfect now are you clear with my controller class so what is the annotation at the rate controller what is the purpose of at the rate controller to make this class as a controller class what i am doing here injecting the repository object by using auto wiring so this is my controller method what my controller method is doing 
my controller method is taking one id from the request with that id it is retrieving the record from the database that record it is storing in the model and view object what is my model and view object what is my model and view what is the purpose of that what is the purpose of a model and view object model and view object is used to send a response to the view controller want to send some response to view for that i am using model and view model and view dot add object key comma value and what is this line set to view name what is this view name index what is the meaning of that what is the meaning of that we want to represent a view name as a index okay fine let us create that view go to our project src main web app in the web app i want to create a folder with a name called views folder in the views folder i will create one jsp file so jsp option coming or jsp option not coming not coming then what we will do we will create that as a normal file create a file and give the name as a dot jsp by default it is opening in the vs code now let me open with the text editor my jsp is open in this jsp you can write some html like this okay and you can write some head tag you can close that head tag and you can write some body and body we are writing inside the body i want to write one text field what is my text field book id and i will write input type is equal to text name is equal to id input type is equal to text name is equal to id now i want to keep this inside a form form action is equal to some value and let me close this form inside this form i want to give a button how to give a button input type is equal to submit value is equal to search input type is equal to submit and value is equal to search perfect now this is my application configure the view resolver how to configure view resolver spring dot come on spring dot mvc dot view dot prefix what is the prefix views what is the suffix spring dot mvc dot view dot suffix what is the suffix dot jsp is a suffix perfect now let us run this application and see uh, data source properties i need to add data source properties i want to communicate with uh, mysql database so which database sbms yeah this is my database properties these are my database properties auto ddl update show sql to true this is my view resolver configuration perfect yeah form action we will give later now let me run my application refresh right click run as boot application now i'm starting my application application started using tomcat 8080 go to browser now simply access localhost colon 8080 so when i access localhost colon 8080 are we able to get our index page yes so am i calling the index page or it is coming by default ah huh. that means that is acting as a welcome page index page is acting as a welcome page now in this index page we have one form in this index page we are having one form now here html head body form action book id input type is equal submit what is the action for this form i want to call the get method i want to call the get method now here in this form here i am going to write h3 book details book details form is available 
after this form is completed i want to print one line straight line now refresh book details book id it is asking and i can click on the search button when i click on the search button what will happen what is the action for that form what is the action for the form form action is equal to book in our controller is there any method available which is binded to book yes is there any method available which is binded to book method is available which is binded to book so what is this what is this annotation request param ha huh. it is equal to request dot get param in the servlet what we will do how to capture form data request dot get param but in the spring do i need to write the request dot get param or directly i can use the annotation directly i can use the annotation request param of id here my field name is id my field name is id so that id i am mapping to my method parameter that id will come to our controller method once the id is coming to the controller method what is our controller doing it is giving the id to the repository by calling find by id what is the purpose of find by id what is the purpose of find by id ha huh. here first let me print a request id what is the id that we are getting from the ui i'm printing the id really am i getting the book object from the database or not let me print the book object also on the console later we will see how to print on the web page first of all id coming from the ui to controller or not and with that id are we able to get the record from the database or not let's check that save this method now run this application run as boot application run as boot application clear the console now when i send the request to localhost colon 8080 my index page is loaded can i call index page as a welcome page now yes index page is a welcome page let's enter book id in the database 101 record is available i'm entering the id as a 101 and i'm going to click on search check my console in my console nothing is available then i'm going to click on search button i clicked on the search go to console am i able to get the id so from the form id coming to controller or not how i am reading the form data in the controller by using what by using which annotation by using a annotation called request param with that id record is available in the database or record is not available in the database with that id record is available in the database where the record is printing now record is printing on the console but actually my requirement is what where that record should be printed record should be printed in the web page in the same web page in the same web page i want to print my record now here how to send that object i got the object from the database guys i got the id from the request by using request param i'm able to capture the book id with that book id i'm able to get the book object from the database that book object i want to display in the ui who is handling the request in this program in this project who is handling the request controller has taken the request who called the controller method who called the controller method handler mapper or dispatcher servlet ha uh, who called it dispatcher servlet to call that so when the dispatcher servlet is calling who is passing this method parameter who is passing parameter to my controller method who is calling the controller method dispatcher servlet so dispatcher servlet only passing the parameter for my method so from who is passing the parameter for my method ha uh, dispatcher only calling my method dispatcher passing the parameter to my method from where the dispatcher servlet getting the data this data this data hab jao client has clicked on the button client has clicked on the button when client has clicked on the button one request will go to the dispatcher servlet 
in that request form data is coming right dispatcher servlet will take the data from the form will give to our controller method as a parameter can i call pre processing can i call that as a pre processing yes am i capturing the form data or dispatcher servlet capturing the form data uh dispatcher servlet only capturing the form data and it is giving that data to my controller method in the form multiple fields can be available how dispatcher servlet will give only that particular value to this id right so in the form what is the name i have given id suppose if i give it as a bid if i give it as a bid will it work or it will not work it will not work if i give as id here in my controller also request param of id now tell me what is the purpose of request param what is the purpose of request param request param is a annotation which is used to capture request parameter value so basically i can say here book id is going in the query parameter so can you see in the browser how the id is going to the server as a query parameter in the url because it is a get request as it is a get request form data going to the server in the url so to capture that query parameter we are using request param annotation what is the purpose of get mapping here what is the purpose of get mapping here it is by it is this method is binded to get request from the form which request is coming from the form which request is coming by default get request only will come is there any method i am specifying for the form i am specifying any method for the form no i am just specifying action so by default which request will go to our controller now get request to do we have a method to hand in the get request yes what that method is doing taking the id from the request object and with that id retrieving the record from the table and setting that record in the modal object what is the purpose of this modal to send the data from controller to ui in the form of key and value what is the key now book what is the value book object okay now can i access book object in the ui now can i access book object in the ui now yes i need to access book id and i need to access book name book id book name and book price now currently check it when i send a request for this application book id book name book price data is coming or data is not coming data is not coming now let me keep break tag here i want to display them in the next line yep refresh okay so in this web page currently data is coming or data is not coming data is not coming why data is not coming why data is not coming ha ah. controller is sending the data to the ui controller not sending the data to the ui sending sending see here what i am doing here what i am doing here sending sending data to view and what i am doing here set to view name what is the meaning of set view name setting view page name so controller sending the data or controller is not sending the data controller sending the data then why the data is not displaying in the view page i am not displaying the data okay here request is sent to dispatch request sent to my application guys so i see here this is my browser this is my browser when i access browser localhost colon 8080 my index page is opened my index page is open in this index page i am entering the id as a 102 and i am clicking on the search button so 102 going to the server or 102 not going to the server 102 going to the server server is able to capture the id yes server is able to retrieve the record yes now after retrieving the record what my controller doing controller sending book object to the view how controller will send the data to the view 
how controller will send the data to the view by using model object in, the, in that model object i am setting the key comma value where this key can be accessed in the view page what is that view page index what is the index for us index is what index is a jsp now in the jsp i want to access the data which is sent from controller to view what is the key there what is the key what is the key in the model book now let us take this book let us go for expression language dollar of book colon book dot book id that is the variable name in the book class book is the key that is sending from controller to view in that view page i can access the book data by using the key key dot property what is the property in the book id name and price now book dot book id so in the model object which book object is available that book object id i want to get that book object name i want to get and that book object price also i want to get okay guys so this is called a expression language which is used to print the value of the variable so what is book book is a key what is the book id book key holding book object in the book object book id is a variable so it is equal to book dot get to book id i want to get the book id and i want to print it here so we are trying to understand how to send the data from controller to ui and how to access that data in the ui page go to index.jsp now you see here i am trying to access book data how i am accessing book data dollar of book dot book id what is the meaning of dollar of book dot book id here book is a key in the model what is the value book object using this key i am accessing the book object key dot to property right now let me run this project go to the browser go to the browser so remove this i am opening my index page enter 101 click on search am i able to get that data now let me give 101 is holding 101 id belongs to spring check in the database check in the database 101 belongs to spring what is 103 angular now let us give id as 103 click on search angular book is coming or not let me go for 102 click on search microservices is coming am i able to retrieve the data from the database and am i able to display in the web application yes or no if you want to beautify you can add that css and bootstrap part right so we are focusing mainly on the logic development not on the styles part right so here i have a search field and i am having a search button so this when i click on this search button with some id 102 when i click on search it is retrieving the book record based on the given id and it is displaying the data here are you able to follow me now observe what is the code that we have done for this project okay first step in this project i have integrated spring web mvc and data jpa right second project second project using web mvc first project just message display we have done yesterday this is our second project using web mvc so the requirement is requirement is retrieve book record based on based on given id and display in web page retrieve book record based on given id and display in the web page perfect now here what is the first step i have done create spring starter project with the below dependencies what are the dependencies we are adding can i say web starter can i say web starter and can i say data jpa starter 
can i say data jpa starter and next one my mysql connector i have added mysql connector and i have added lombok i have added lombok and i have added dev tools and i have added tomcat embed jasper right so create spring starter project with below dependencies web starter to develop a web application next one data jpa to perform db operations mysql connector to load the driver to get the connections lombok for setters getters dev tools to restart our server tomcat embed jasper to compile our jsp files right after this now then i have created configure configure view resolver and data source properties in application dot properties file configure view resolver and data source properties in the properties file so if you see our properties file here i am configuring my data source properties and i am configuring my view resolver what is the purpose of data source properties what is the purpose of data source properties data source properties are used to decide with which database our application should connect what is the purpose of view resolver what is the purpose of view resolver view resolver to identify where our presentation files are available so now first step is i have created the project second step i configure the view resolver and data source properties in the third step create the entity class and map with the database table create entity class what is the purpose of entity class table mapping i'm creating a entity class and i mapped that class with the database table i am already having existing table i am already having a existing table i ma i mapped my class with the table okay how i am mapping that by using at the rate entity annotation these are the properties my entity class is created in my database already there is a table next up, i want to create repository interface what is the purpose of repository interface what is the purpose of repository interface create jpa repository interface by extending from jpa repository i am creating jpa repository interface then next one create create controller class create controller class to handle request and response now my controller class is having a method create controller class with a method to handle request and response how to create a controller how to create a controller here i'm creating a controller using annotation called at the rate controller what is the purpose of at the rate controller to represent our class as a controller class inside the controller i'm doing auto wiring what object i am injecting into controller i am injecting repository object into controller so that my controller can call repository method in my controller method is available that method is binded to get request by using get mapping what is the purpose of get mapping annotation what is the purpose of get mapping annotation right it is used to handle get request which is coming with a url pattern slash book my method is taking id as a parameter from where that id will come from the request how to capture the data from the request by using request param annotation to capture the data coming from the request we are going to use request param annotation after getting the id with that id i am making a db call i got the id id is a primary key in the book table how to get a record based on the primary key by using find by id what is the return type of that method optional in the optional if the record is available i am getting that record and i am sending that record to the view 
how i am sending the data from controller to view how i am sending the data from controller to view can i say by using model and view object yes what is the purpose of a model and view object model is used to set the data in the key and value why we need to set the data in the key and value to send the response from the controller to view page client has sent a request with the id with that id i have retrieved the record from the table that data i should send to the view page controller to view i am sending the data so in this application from the client data coming to the controller and from the controller data going to the view request data is coming response data also going request data coming that is a id what is the response data book object i am taking the book id as a input i am sending the book object as a output so here in this scenario i am taking the request data and i am sending the response data to take the request data i am using a annotation called request param how i am sending the response data by using model object can you tell me what is the purpose of the model to send the data from controller to ui i want to send the data from controller to ui in the form of key and value model dot add object of key comma value key can be anything value is my book object now whatever the data that we are setting in the model object that to data we can access in this view page what is the view page we are returning index so index is a presentation file whether it is a jsp or time leaf controller don't know i know that it is a jsp page in this index page we can access our book object by using this key now my book object is stored into model object in the form of key and value model object is used to send the data from controller to view file whatever the key and value we are setting in the model by using that key we can access the value if you see my jsp page i am doing the same thing if you see my jsp page in the jsp page key is what book now key is what book book dot book id what is the meaning of that in that book object what is the book id you get that value you print that value so here dollar of braces represents expression language to access the value now book dot book name what is the meaning of book dot book name what is the meaning of book dot book name ha huh. book is a key it is holding book object that means book object dot book name in that book object whatever the name available you print that name you print that name same thing for the price also my controller taking the data from the request and it is sending the response request it is taking with the id response it is sending a book object now go to our project let me run this let me run this it is already running now go to browser do i need to restart or it will automatically restart automatically it will be restarted okay now here in these steps create controller class with methods to handle the request and response what is the final step i have done create view page create the view page then finally run the application and test it finally run the application and test it good automatically my project is restarted now localhost colon 8080 i am able to send a request index page is loading by default first time to load that page first time to load that page do i have any method in the controller or i don't have any method in the controller to load the page do i have any method to load the page then how come that page is coming automatically with 8080 request welcome page 
if you keep any page with a name called index it can be index.html it can be index.jsp by default what will happen it will load that page in the browser now there is a form for this form what is the action i have given book what type of request this form will send get request or post request get request what is the action url book do i have any method which is mapped to get request with the book url yes when this method will be called when this method will be called whenever you click on the search button whenever you click on the search button then that method will be called are you able to follow me yes now go to this page this is my page now currently my page is loaded by default with the index.jsp that is a welcome file after clicking on the search button tell me what is happening internally can you tell me that when i click on the search button what will happen when i click on the search button request will go to dispatcher servlet when i click on the when i click on the search button request will go to dispatcher servlet then what the dispatcher servlet will do uh, dispatcher servlet received a get request with a slash book as a url pattern when i click on the search button this button will send get request with the book as a url pattern then dispatcher servlet will give the request information to handler mapping then what the handler mapping will do handler mapper will identify this request belongs to which controller class in that controller which method in my project how many controllers available only one controller available in that how many methods available only one method what is the method url pattern slash book what is the type of the method get method what request came from the browser get request book url pattern now it is a get request book url pattern the handler mapper will identify in this project book controller available with a method map to get request with the book url that information that a handler mapper will give to dispatcher servlet then what the dispatcher servlet will do what the dispatcher servlet will do it will go to the controller it got the controller data initially i clicked on the search button when i click on the search button one get request is going to the server dispatcher servlet received that request dispatcher servlet giving request information to handler mapper handler mapper will identify this request should be handled by which controller which method in the controller there is only one controller only one method get request book url yes method is matched this is the class this is the method to handle the request handler mapper identified that handler mapper will call the controller or handler mapper will give controller details to dispatcher ha ah, handler mapper will not call the controller handler mapper will just identify the controller controller method will give to the dispatcher then dispatcher will go to that class will try to call that method but method is parameter is there or parameter is not there method is having a parameter what is the parameter available for the method integer id what i am telling here request param when the dispatcher servlet look at our method it will understand okay this method is expecting integer id as a parameter that id should come from the request param then dispatcher servlet will open the request will check is there any data came from the request with the id as a key it is going to check that in the request are you getting any id yes are we sending the id or we are not sending the id if you see this if you see this what is the input text name is equal to id book id text field data will be available in the id now whenever dispatcher read our method it will understand this method is expecting id as a parameter from where that id coming 
that ID coming from the UI in the request. Dispatcher will open the request, will read the ID with the key. It will take that ID, will give the ID to our method as a parameter and will call our method. So finally, who is calling our method? Who is calling our method? Dispatcher servlet is calling our method. Then what our method is doing? What the controller method is doing here? Uh, with that ID, it is calling the repository. What the repository will do? Call the database, get the data. Finally, controller got the book object from the repository. Then what my controller is doing here? What my controller is doing here? My controller setting the book object in the model. Why it is setting the book object in the model? Why it is setting the book object in the model? To send the data from controller to UI. To send the data from controller to UI. And in which view that object should be displayed? What is the view page? Client is sending a request, right? For the client response should come now. Response is book data. That book data should be displayed in the which view page? Index page. Who is telling that? Controller only telling that boss. I got a request with the ID as an input. For that ID, this is the book object. I am setting in the model object. This book object I am setting in the model with the key and value. This key you can access in the view. This index will be displayed as a response for the user. In that view page, what I am doing? I am accessing the book object data. How I am accessing the book object data? By using key dot property. So book is a key. Whenever I access a dollar of key, what is the meaning? I'm accessing the book object which is stored in that key. Key dot property. That value will be displayed. Are you guys clear with this? Can you tell me what is happening when I click on the search button? What is happening when I click on the search button? Fast, come on. I'm clicking on the search button. Get request is going to dispatcher servlet. What is the dispatcher servlet? It is a front controller. It is responsible to perform pre-processing and post-processing. Then what the dispatcher servlet is doing here? It is giving the request data to handler mapper. What is a handler mapper? Identify which controller should handle that request. Identify, give the data to dispatcher. Then dispatcher will go and call the controller method. Controller method expecting a parameter. Where that parameter is available? Request object. So who will take from the request and who will give to controller? Dispatcher servlet. Can I call it as pre-processing? Yes, it is a pre-processing. Then what my controller is doing here? What my controller is doing here? Controller is talking to repository to get the book data based on the book ID. With the given ID, one record is available. It has taken that book object. After that, setting the data in the model and view object. What is the model and view object? Model is used to send the data. View is used to represent logical file name. Now, in the model, we are setting the data in the key and value. That key we can use to access the value in the view page. Now, controller is returning model and view object to dispatcher. Then what the dispatcher is doing here? What the dispatcher is doing here? Dispatcher is giving the view name to view resolver. What is the duty of the view resolver? Identify where the view files are available. Where the view files are available? In the web app, views folder, views are available. What is the prefix I configure? What is the prefix slash views? What is the suffix? Dot JSP. Then it will identify prefix plus view name plus suffix. What is my prefix I am giving? Prefix is slash views. What is my suffix? Dot JSP slash views slash views plus view name plus dot JSP. 
so it is going to identify our view file with this formula my view resolver knows where the view files are available and what is the extension of the view file what the dispatcher servlet will know it will know only view name it don't know what is the prefix what is the suffix dispatcher servlet will give that view name to the view resolver view resolver will apply prefix prefix plus view name plus suffix what is the prefix i have given slash views slash views what is the suffix what is the view name index what is the suffix what is the suffix dot jsp then what it will identify slash views index dot jsp view resolver will identify like this are you guys getting my controller is just returning view name but where is that view view resolver knows that dispatcher servlet will give the view name to the view resolver then it will apply prefix plus view name plus suffix what is the prefix i am configuring slash views okay prefix is slash views what is the view name i am returning index what is the suffix i have given dot jsp it will be created like this in the views directory index dot jsp is available that is the view page for this request whatever the request we sent for that request that is the web page which you should display in the browser who identified that dispatcher sir let our view resolver view resolver after identifying this dispatcher servlet will get this information from the view resolver then what the dispatcher servlet will do ha uh, hold on in the third stage dispatcher servlet will know where is the view file and what is the view file in the second stage it knows what is the data in the model model data it is having view file also it is having model data view file it will give to view component what is that view component will do it will render model data on the view file so here rendering means if you see in my jsp dollar of book dot book id but in the browser what is happening id is coming so based on this expression it is printing the value that is called a rendering rendering means processing right now who is the rendering model data on the view page view component then view component will give that data to dispatcher finally dispatcher sending the response to the client that's why we are getting index page as a response we are getting index page as a response are you clear yes how to send the data from ui to controller controller to ui you understand that yes how to send the data from controller to ui how to send the data from controller to ui to send the data from controller to ui we are using modal object to take the data from ui to controller request param what is the purpose of request param it is used to capture it is used to capture form data to a variable got it yes any questions anyone in this application development do you have any questions it will come okay fine guys you understand what is my requirement and how i have developed this requirement yes so what is the project i have created for this same structure whatever we have created yesterday 
with the same structure i have created the project right ashok it package base package available okay in that base package we are having our start classes controller entity repository package is available here and application at properties file is available and my jsp file is created in the views directory let me take the project structure this is my project structure so what are the steps i am going to follow this to develop this project so requirement retrieve book record based on the given id and display in the web page like below so this is my requirement retrieve book record based on the given id and display in the web page like below that is my requirement zero to web application requirement retrieve book record based on the given id and display in the web page like below so what is the procedure we are going to follow for this create the project and these are the steps that i am going to follow in order to develop this application yep first step create the starter project with below dependencies then configure view resolver and data source properties then i am going to create one entity class and i am creating one repository interface this is my project structure this is my requirement project structure and create the project with these dependencies configure view resolver and data source properties entity class repository interface controller class view page finally i am running the application and i am able to test my application let me give my entity class here this is my entity in the entity class i'm using lombok to generate the setters and getters i'm using lombok this is my entity class and similarly i'm having my repository interface so this repository is extending the properties from jpa repository extending from jpa repository stop this server after this now i'm going to create one controller class how to make java class as a controller by using at the rate controller annotation i'm creating my book controller this book controller is responsible to handle request and response it is handling my request and response so i hope you got the basic idea how to develop a web application by using spring web mvc in that we are using data jpa also my web mvc is communicating with data jpa to retrieve the record from database now this is my controller next up, i am having my view page that is index.jsp so what is the logic we are writing in the index.jsp what is the logic we are writing in the index.jsp just we are having one form field and one button one form field available and one button is available whenever we click on that button it is going to display that response this is my index.jsp ah it is opening in the vs code ide by default so this is my view page this is my view page then i am having my properties file what i am configuring in the properties file data source properties and view resolver i have configured data source properties will represent with which database we need to connect and view resolver will represent where our view files are available i have given the complete project also zero to web application retrieve book record based on the given id and display in the web page like below right creating the project view resolver entity and all this is my entity class my repository interface my controller my view page and my properties file did i miss anything did i miss anything here 
good fine guys so today we learnt today we learnt one annotation that is called request param what is the purpose of this request param annotation ha huh. to capture to capture request data to capture request data using a key now id is a key with that key i am able to capture that data what is this model and view what is this model and view to set the data from controller to view if you want to take the data from the ui to controller i am using request param i want to send the data from controller to ui to send the data from controller to ui i am using model and view object able to follow this right now here guys in the controller same method we can write in the different approach also same method we can write in the different approach also sir what is that different approach can i change that method now already i have given screenshot of that method in the notes how i have written that method here there is a screenshot what is my method return type i am taking ha huh. i am taking method return type as a model and view object same method we can write in the another approach also that is instead of model and view as a return type i can take string as a return type what is the return type i am taking now string as a return type instead of setting the view page name to the model object directly i can return my view page what i am returning directly directly i am returning my view page now delete the model and view object delete this okay here earlier what is my method return type model and view now what is the return type i am taking string the method controller method return type string represents the return type of the method is a view file view name earlier we are setting the view name by using set to view name method from now onwards you no need to set the view name by using model and view whatever the view you want to return whatever the name you want to return that you can take as a method return type public string get book by id what is this string representing index what is the index view file now there is a problem how to send the data from controller to view now now i want to send this book object from controller to view to send the data from controller to the view you can take one object called model you can take one object called model now model is something like a map now here model dot add attribute earlier it is add object now it is add attribute what is the key book what is the value book object so earlier method this method behavior is the same the only thing is earlier we used a class called model and view object now here i am taking model model what is the purpose of model dot add attribute to send the data from controller to view in the form of key and value right where i am setting the view name i am directly returning the view name what is the view name index now save this program run our application refresh run as boot application clear the console now localhost colon 8080 what happened what happened when i click on localhost colon 8080 i got the index page now enter 101 click on search am i able to get the data so functionality wise any difference no there is no difference earlier what my method was doing earlier my method was taking model and view as a return type model dot add object and model dot set view name but now what i am doing in this 
directly i am returning the view from the method name and i am taking model as a parameter model dot add attribute what is the purpose of model dot add attribute what is the purpose of model dot add attribute it is used to send the data from controller to ui so you can write the method like this also your controller method can be implemented like this also this is another approach to develop our controller method either you can go for this approach or below approach anyway both are correct both are correct you can use any one but most of the people will go for second approach because i no need to take a model and view again i no need to create the object for the model and view set the view name not required simply whatever the view i want to return i can return that by using this return statement i will take string as a return type if i return some abc here what is the meaning of that ha huh. there should be a file with that name abc.jsp suppose if i return a page with a name called dashboard what is the meaning of that what is the meaning of that the view page should be dashboard.jsp so whatever i am returning from the method that is the that is the view name that is the view name controller is returning view name and in that view what data we need to display we can set that in the model object model dot add attribute what is the purpose of this model dot add attribute what is the purpose of model dot add attribute to set the data in the model object so that we can send it to the view page are you guys clear yes good now tomorrow we need to work on another project so the requirement is i want you to develop one screen here name will be available email will be available gender will be available and course will be available course is a select drop down okay radio button and drop down check box timings i want to give three different timings one is morning and another one is afternoon and third one is evening okay fine course is a drop down gender is a radio button name is a text field email is also a text field gender i am giving as a radio button male and here i am giving as a female radio buttons only one value you can select fine now here morning evening afternoon these are coming as check boxes user can select multiple check boxes course is a drop down display some course names in the drop down okay now here i want to get course details from the database timings also i want to get from the database you understand create one table in the database in that table store some courses normally you can insert that and create one table with a name called timings in that you insert three records morning afternoon and evening so from the database i want to get the course names and i want to display in the drop down from the database timings table i want to get the timings details i want to display as a check boxes in the application and finally i want to give submit button i want to give the submit button when you click on the submit button i want to insert a record into student table it is a student course enquiry form so what is the name of the student what is the email id of the student what is the gender which course he is interested okay which timings he is comfortable so now when you come for the enquiry you will tell i want to go for java full stack timings 
morning i fine morning is fine evening is also fine for me then you will select two check boxes right user can select any one check box or he can select any two he can select any three the check boxes data should come from the database table course names also should come from the database table when you click on the submit button that record should be inserted into database table okay so what is the database table student enquiries i want a table with a name called student enquiries okay now the requirement is course names should come course names should come from db table course names drop down values course name drop down values drop down values should come from db table now i will give the table you can take any table for that and second one timings check boxes timings check boxes options options should come from db table after submitting the data when we click on submit button when we click on submit button record should be inserted into into database table what database table that is student enquiries table student enquiries got it that is my requirement can you guys try this now this requirement is student enquiry form student enquiry form after inserting the data into database table you need to display a success message your record is inserted successfully okay this is my third project on the web mvc 03 web application requirement 03 web application requirement requirement details and display success message on the same page yep any questions anyone on the requirement you analyze that guys you got the clarity how i developed today's application and what you need to do for tomorrow look at the requirement look at the requirement i want you to develop one student enquiry form how many pages are required how many pages are required only one page in this name is a text field email is a text field gender is radio button course is drop down timings check boxes courses 
should come from the database table. You should have a table called course names table. In the table, take some records. Those records I want to display in the drop down. Now, timings. For timings, take a, another table. In that, insert three records morning, afternoon, and evening. That table data should come and display as a checkboxes. Right. And when I click on submit button, what should happen? When I click on submit button, what should happen? Right. It should insert the record into database table and it has to display a success message. Are you clear with my point? Yes. Perfect. So I am sharing this document. So in this document, we have complete notes, what we discussed in the web MVC introduction part, architecture diagram, our first application development, whatever the application we develop for today, what you need to do for tomorrow that also I have given in the document. Let me share this document. Yeah, I'm going to upload this document. Meanwhile, online people, any questions, anybody? You can unmute and you can ask me. Online students, any question, anyone? In total, we will have three DB table, uh, like tables in the database. You need to analyze that. Whether you will take two tables or three tables, you need to analyze and you need to implement. Tomorrow, I will explain. Today, you need to try that. Samja? Yes, sir. Whether you will sir. take three tables or four tables or five tables, up sochke likna padega. Sir, one question like if we are running a web application, so if the server is up, then only that link will like work. Can you come again, sir, please? Like if you are like running a web application, if the uh -huh. server will be up till that till the time it will be like the url will work otherwise it won't work right right yes uh, suppose if uh, our uh, like server system is down like it's uh, down so like server will go down or it will be up only it will be up it will be up hello sir sir what is the white label error i uh, resolve this but i'm not getting we will it. discuss that in the exception handling White label yes. error means when there is some problem in your application, then it will okay. give the white label error. That suppose if your URL is correct or whenever you face some problem okay. uh, in the code, if some exception occurs in the code, then it will give white label error. Okay. Yeah. Hello, sir. This is Rajesh. Yeah. Hi, Rajesh. Hi. Yeah, in model, uh, we are passing the key as a hard coded value, right? So in real time, uh, yeah, keys can be hard code. Uh, there is no problem. Uh, key is not going to change, uh, right? Yeah, so in real time, it will, we can have no uh, problem because keys are not going to change in the future. Okay, so in real time, we will use a hash code or anything like that. No, 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 no. Key we will store like this. That is a hard coded key. No issue with that. Okay, oh, okay, sir. Thank yeah. you. Fine, guys. Thank you. With this, I'm stopping for today. We'll meet in the tomorrow's class. Please try developing this application that is student inquiry form. We'll meet in the tomorrow class. Thank you.